Langston Hughes, the Negro Artist and the Racial Mountain, published in 1926 in The Nation, is a seminal essay that addresses the pressures faced by black artists to conform to white cultural norms. Hughes opens the essay with a personal anecdote about a young black poet who expresses a desire to be a poet, not a Negro poet. This statement triggers Hughes' exploration of the racial self negation among black artists. Which he refers to as the racial mountain, a metaphor for the internalized racism that discourages black artists from embracing their racial identity in their work. The racial mountain metaphor, the racial mountain, represents the societal and psychological barriers that prevent black artists from fully expressing their racial identity. Hughes argues that this mountain is not just a personal obstacle but a product of the pervasive racism and cultural hegemony in American society. The desire to climb over this mountain, to assimilate into the dominant white culture, results in the rejection of one's own heritage and a denial of the richness and uniqueness of black culture. Critique of Assimilation Hughes critiques the tendency among black artists to seek validation through conformity to white standards of beauty, art, and culture. He argues that this desire to be accepted by the white majority leads to the creation of art that lacks authenticity and fails to reflect the true experiences of black people. Hughes asserts that the only way for black artists to create meaningful work is to embrace their racial identity and draw inspiration from their own communities and experiences. The role of middle class respectability. Hughes identifies the black middle class as particularly susceptible to the pressures of assimilation. He argues that many middle class black families, in their pursuit of respectability and acceptance by white society, Discourage their children from embracing their blackness. This, according to Hughes, is reflected in the artistic aspirations of black artists who strive to produce work that is indistinguishable from that of their white counterparts, thus perpetuating the racial mountain. Celebration of black culture. In contrast to the desire for assimilation, Hughes celebrates the richness and diversity of black culture. He highlights the vitality of jazz, blues, spirituals, and the everyday life of black people as sources of inspiration for genuine artistic expression. Hughes calls on black artists to take pride in their heritage and to draw upon the cultural traditions and experiences of their communities. He argues that by doing so, they can create art that is both true to themselves and reflective of the black experience. The authentic Negro artist, Hughes envisions an authentic Negro artist as someone who is unapologetically black in their art and life. This artist does not seek to cater to white audiences or to conform to white standards but instead creates work that speaks to the realities of black life. Hughes sees this authenticity as essential to the development of a distinct black artistic identity that is free from the constraints of white cultural dominance. Artistic freedom and responsibility. Hughes emphasizes the importance of artistic freedom for black artists. He argues that they must be free to explore all aspects of their identity and experience without fear of judgment or rejection. However, this freedom comes with the responsibility to be true to oneself and to resist the pressures to dilute one's racial identity in the pursuit of mainstream success. Hughes believes that by embracing this responsibility, black artists can contribute to the creation of a new, vibrant, and distinctly black culture. The role of the white audience. Hughes acknowledges the influence of the white audience on black artists, noting that many artists feel compelled to create work that will appeal to white patrons. However, he argues that this should not dictate the content or style of their art. Instead, Hughes advocates for black artists to focus on creating work that is authentic and true to their experiences, regardless of how it is received by white audiences. He suggests that true art should challenge and expand the perspectives of its audience, rather than conforming to their expectations. Impact on the Harlem Renaissance Hughes' essay is both a reflection and a manifesto of the Harlem Renaissance, 
a cultural movement that celebrated black creativity and sought to redefine the role of black artists in American society. Hughes' call for black artists to embrace their racial identity and to celebrate black culture resonated with many of his contemporaries and helped to shape the direction of the Harlem Renaissance. The essay is a powerful statement on the importance of cultural pride and artistic integrity in the face of systemic racism. The Negro Artist and the Racial Mountain remains one of Langston Hughes' most influential essays, encapsulating his vision for black art and its role in society. The essay continues to resonate in contemporary discussions about race, identity, and the role of artists in challenging societal norms. Hughes' insistence on the importance of authenticity and cultural pride in the creation of art has had a lasting impact on generations of black artists and thinkers, making this essay a cornerstone of African American literary and cultural criticism.